Now, another thing you could possibly use this filter for is looking at the shot of me there. Actually, I'm a bit out of focus, I'm a bit blurred. I'd been like to be a bit sharper. I'd like to be a bit brighter, but I'm quite happy with the rest of it. Well, let's just draw an oval around me. Let's go to the filters, and I want to put a couple of filters. I want to put a bit of sharpness on it, and I want to brighten me up. So that basically is a sharpness filter and a YUV curve. I can only put one filter in here, so to do that I'm going to use the Combine Filters filter. So that lets me put a couple of filters in that box. I'm going to need to look at the output here, so I get a proper idea of what it looks like. And I'm going to say inside, use the Combine Filters, and I'm going to put in a sharpness and put about, I say, 20 or 30% sharpness in it. That's helping to bring out a bit more definition on me. And I'm also going to put in a YUV curve and brighten me up a bit. That's brighten me up. Probably better to brighten the mid-tones rather than everything else. Bit of crushing on the blacks. And on top of that, I think I really need to put in a three-way color corrector to bring back the saturation in me. So I've combined three filters in one, maybe done it a bit over the top and you can see I'm now applying that just to me because it's blooming obvious that I'm applying it just for me but let's stick a soft border on it both ways inside and outside it makes me quite a big soft border the bigger the soft border that's quite a large soft border but actually it's hardly noticeable in fact if I tweak it a bit and bring it more around my face you probably won't notice at all but I've managed to pull up my face and make my face sharper without messing up the rest of it. Here's another option. Draw a very rough shape around me. Put a fuzzy edge on it. Put an inside filter of a combine effects with, say, a YUV curve on it and a sharpen. Find about 20% sharpen. Normally does a very good job with lots of things. Brighten me up a bit. Give me a bit more definition. Then on the outside, let's put another filter on there. In this case, I'm going to put a blur on there to simulate a bit of out of focusness. Possibly a bit too much blur on that. Potentially, you can defocus the background by just using a mask and fuzzing the edges up sufficiently so you don't have to make it that accurate. 